I look cute. I think so. Hold on, I'm about to look. and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be installing this red wig this wig originally came blonde and I used the water coloring technique to dye it so if you guys want to see how I achieved this color definitely click the link above so for starters we just want to go ahead and put this wig on our head just to see how everything lays and fits and where exactly are we going to be laying this glue now if you guys watched my previous vlog where I did the hair shoot, this wig is from that company. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. So we're just going to take some 99% alcohol and we're just going to be wiping all along our hairline to make sure we're cleaning all the dirt and oils off to make sure that this glue will lay. And I'm sorry about the video quality, some of these clips are like a little too bright and then some are a little bit darker because I was switching between cameras trying to make it work for this video. So I'm just going in with my Bold Hold Active and a rat tail comb and I'll just be putting that all along my hairline just exactly where I want that lace to lay. You're going to be using this with the three to four layers and you're going to be smoothing it out just so everything is really thin. You don't want really thick layers because it's not going to lay or it's not going to melt right because the layers can be too thick. Now you definitely want to get a mirror if you're doing this on yourself because it's going to be a little hard but now I'm just picking up that lace and laying that hairline directly into the glue I always say this in my videos you really want that lace to be either directly on top of the glue or in front of the glue never behind I always like to go behind just to give myself a little room so I can go in and add more glue under the lace if I need to and with this I'm just putting down each spot I like to start in the middle and then I'll do side to side when my wigs are a little bit more snug just to make sure everything will lay flat and it will be laid down correctly. Now I'm going to go in with my trusty rat tail comb and I'll just be using this to comb this lace down directly into the glue and I'm just using the teeth of this to make sure I'm getting it all down. The teeth is also going to aid in not getting that hair stuck in the glue. And you're just going to complete this all along the whole front of this hairline until you feel like everything is down and secure. Now we're just going to go in with some scissors and we're just going to be cutting directly down the middle of the lace and then afterwards we're going to take a nice eyebrow razor to go ahead and cut each side of the lace off and we're just going up and down in a irregular zigzag type of jagged motion to make sure that this lace is not straight across and that it's really irregular for the most natural so you don't have a line of demarcation. And somebody wants to photo bomb me, so hey Daniela. But yes, you just want to go ahead and do that until everything is done and cut off. And now we're going to go in with our bone hold again. And I'm just using that on the tip of a rat tail comb. And I'm lifting up that lace. And I'm just putting that glue directly under the lace. And then you're just going to go in again with the teeth of those combs and you're just going to go ahead and comb everything forward pushing it down into the glue. Now 
Now I'm just going in with the back of my rat tail comb. I also tied down my lace off camera with a sanic paper wrap strip. And I'm just going in and parting out a middle part because I'll be wearing this hair in the middle. And then I'll just go ahead and take my tweezers and I'm just plucking along that part. This is especially dire when you have colored hair and the knots are colored. You really want to try to take out as much of those knots as possible because you can't necessarily bleach them the same way you would with black or natural colored weave. Now I'm just going in with my hot comb all along the part and the hairline just to flatten everything out and make everything look really nice and natural. With your frontals you want everything to be really flat, you don't want anything to be too bulky. Now after that I'm just going to go in with some LA Pro Girl Concealer in my shade, maybe a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to go ahead and line the part. And this is going to make the part look really nice and neat. And with these, you really want to pinch the tip of the brush just to make sure it's really flat and thin. And then you're just going to go ahead and go all along the part and line it, making it look really natural. It's going to really open the part up and make it look really neat. Now I'm just going in with my flat irons and I'm just going in flattening out this whole head. I was initially going to do some curls but because I was on like such a rush I just decided not to do curls so I just went for a nice sleek install and with this I just went and flat ironed it and I also put in some of my silkening hair serum from ORS. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hairs. I already did one side off camera just to get an idea of what I wanted to do. So I'll be going in with some mousse from Nairobi and then I'm just going in and cutting out my baby hairs. So with this look I really did one big swoop and then a sideburn swoop as well. So you'll just see me putting that foam on the hairs not on the lace. With this you really want to just put it on the hair only which is really going to prevent it from lifting. And I'm just going in and cutting it. I always cut it a little bit longer because I will go back in afterwards after I swoop everything to cut it to form the shape of the swoop that I want. Now I'm just taking my edge control brush and using my finger to aid me as well. And I'm just pushing down that top part of the baby hair to make sure everything is really neat. And after I have my swoop formed, I'll go back in with my scissors and just cut the hair at the bottom of the swoop so that it doesn't get too thick and bulky looking at that area and looking unnatural. And you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process for the sideburn. So here I am just swooping it down just to see the shape I want. And then I'll go in with some of my mousse and cut that hair to the length that I want it to be. And then go ahead with my edge control brush to just do the same swooping motion. I'm just swooping it forward and then back. And like I said with the baby hairs, I'm just using my finger to aid me to make sure everything is really nice and flat. And this is just a slow mo close up of the baby hairs and the hairline. My tweezers are a bit dull, so I didn't get to pluck as much as I'd like. But here is the final look. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. 
and let me know in the comments below if you guys have something you want me to show you guys let me know in the comments below and if you aren't already please join my subscribers thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video bye